the tangent function. The tangent ratio given by tan t is the ratio of sine to cosine. Tan t equals sine t over cosine t. For any point x, y on the unit circle, the slope of the radius from 0, 0 to x, y is given by m sub r equals tan t, where t is the measure of the arc on the unit circle from 1, 0, terminating at x, y. Note, t is measured in radians. Similar to sine and cosine, this demonstration will use the unit circle to graph the tangent function. The unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1 is shown below. Arc PC is t radians long, which makes the coordinates of point C cosine t, sine t, as shown. Now we extend segment AC into the first quadrant and draw a tangent segment to the circle at P into the first quadrant as well. Let the extended segments meet at point Q. The vertical segment PQ is tangent to the circle at P. Let's define its length to be the absolute value of tan t. This makes good sense because triangle ABC is similar to triangle APQ, so CB is to AB as QP is to AP, and substituting reveals the definition of tangent. Sine is to cosine as tan t is to 1. A second tangent segment in red is displayed from the terminal point C to R. Can you explain why the two tangent segments in the figure are congruent? Triangle ABC is similar to triangle APQ, and triangle APQ is congruent to triangle ACR because of angle-side angle theorem. PQ is congruent to CR because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, and CR equals tan t by substitution. Our first definition for the tangent was the ratio of sine t to cosine t. Tan t equals sine t over cosine t. With the diagram, there is an explanation about the origin of the definition. Beyond this, we have a new understanding of tangent as the length of tangent segments on the unit circle. The genesis of the tangent curve at various arguments t. As the point moves up the unit circle, you can see that the tan value increases. The length of this red line increases. When you're up here, you have a large sine value over a small cosine value, so the tangent value is very large. So here in purple is the graph of the tangent. So we take the tangent values at different points along the unit circle, and then graph them out along an x-axis like this, and you see that as the point moves up the unit circle, the tan value increases. Below are some sample points on the tangent curve. Because of the cyclic nature of the tangent curve, these values will appear time and again. Of course, if you remember sine and cosine values, the ratio of sine to cosine gives tangent as well. So here, at point A, tan of 0 is 0. Tan of pi over 12 is 2 minus the square root of 3. Tan of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 3. Tan of pi over 4 equals 1. Tan of pi over 3 equals the square root of 3. And not shown, but f is up here, and that's tangent of 5 pi over 12 is 2 plus the square root of 3. The period of the tangent function is pi. One uninterrupted cycle occurs between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. A second uninterrupted cycle occurs between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The tangent graph is asymptotic at x equals pi times 2k minus 1 over 2 for integer values of k.